Hello and welcome to the Infinity PBR Low Poly Assets. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom texture variations. Um, in this case I'll use the dragon as an example, but it should work with all our creatures from the Low Poly series. So we usually do supply a certain set of predefined textures, for example this white dragon, um, this red one, green one and a few more. But there might be cases where you want to create your own variation maybe a red one or a mixture of different um, colors. So to make this easy for you, we've actually added a dynamic material, which I will show you now. So we click on Content, Infinity PBR, um, then the asset you've purchased, in this case the Low Poly Dragon, and in there you'll find the dynamic material folder. And in there there's this material instance. This is the one we're interested in right now. So when we double click this one, we have this uh, preview of one of the dragons and to the right we can see all the different color options. Now I click on body and I can change this in real time as you can see. Um, I'm an artist so I'm just going to go for pink and the body class will be green which is, you know, not very good looking but I'm just a programmer. Now there's one thing to note. our um, system is very modular so what you will see right now if I click on gear settle and I want to change the settle color obviously it will not work because this model doesn't have a settle. Um, we've added a few presets for example full body sample 0, 1, 2 and 3 um, which you can use to preview certain changes. For example I know this sample 0, 1 does have this um, settle in there so if you change the color now, we can see the changes we've done. Um, now obviously this is very great um, to preview changes in the editor or you know if you want to recolor your um, dragon in real time in the game. Um, these are all great options. Um, but in terms of a downside, this obviously is fairly expensive on the graphics card because we are changing this color in real time every frame. Now this can be fine for most games but um, especially on weaker platforms this can get maybe too expensive. Um, so what we do recommend is, once you are happy with all these changes in the editor, to bake these changes to a texture, which is fairly cheap, it's uh, inexpensive and it's very fast to use in a, ma in a material. Um, to make this easy for you as well, we've provided a tool which I will show you now. So. I'm very happy with these changes, so we close this. And then I have this widget right here. We right click this one and click on Run Editor Utility Widget. Now, we have a, um, an explanation here as well, what, why and how, which I've already done. So what we just want to do is click on Render Material to Texture. And this will create a new texture down here based on the material changes we've just done um, in the material instance. So. We click on this one. As you can see, it's generated this texture, which I can now use in a material. Um, I'll move this generated texture out here. Um, don't move the other files, these are all important to the system. Just move the generated textures. So I just want to create a new material now. We've already got this very simple um, material for the dragons, just a base color, and uh, it's all we need cheap, it's fast and uh, inexpensive. So we right click this one, we create a material instance and press enter, we open it up, we override the base color and select our new generated texture and as you can see this is actually it. It's a pink one, green nails, it's beautiful, it's perfect and um, yeah so I've now shown you two ways to change the um, colors of your assets, of your dragon and creatures uh, in real time and also the option to convert it to a texture for uh, saving performance. Um, yeah, happy gaming!